my channel, it's Milani Gold here. In today's video, I'm doing a sort of like a makeup tutorial, but this is kind of a video with a twist. So if you guys are familiar with my channel, my name is Milani Gold, and I mostly make fashion videos for my curvy, thick women looking to slay life on a budget. So if you wanna be a part of that, make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you thumbs up this video, and share this video because it's about to be lit. I think about 11 months ago, I made this KKW body foundation using that to cover stretch marks on my arms. I was actually sitting down and thinking to myself like, what if I actually use this foundation on my face as a face foundation? So in today's video, I'm gonna test that theory out to see how this foundation applies as a face foundation. So let's go into this video. I've actually kind of done my eyebrows, as you guys can see. So my face is already moisturized. I have my beauty blender. I'm going to go in and put the foundation all over my face. I'm actually going to color correct the dark areas because I don't want it to look really crazy. Like sometimes when I do like makeup looks, because I have like really bad discoloration around my mouth, it could look really weird sometimes. So first thing I'm going to do is color correct this area around my mouth. We black women, especially women of color, we are so susceptible to like discoloration and stuff. So make sure you are color correcting, especially like the mouth area um, under the eyes. Like those are the areas that are most susceptible to discoloration. I'm actually kind of in a rush because I have um, a massage appointment to go to. I don't know what the heck I did with my back. I was working out this week and I was doing jump ropes. And when I tell you the last time I worked out was Monday and I work out every day. So after that workout, I did jump rope. After Monday, I could not move. Like I was in bed. I was working, good thing I worked from home because I literally could not get off from my bed. I don't understand what I pulled, I don't understand. So I had to book a massage appointment just to go sort myself out. I don't know, like the order I'm getting, the more I'm like taking longer to recover after like an intense workout. But I've color corrected my face and you guys are probably like, sis, you look crazy, but don't worry. It's gonna look, it's gonna look presentable in a minute, okay? I'm taking my KKW body foundation. The foundation I have is the Skin Perfecting Body Foundation in the color tan. So I'm gonna take that and I'm going to apply some of it. Oh, it's a lot that comes out of it. So I've had this foundation for about a year now. I haven't used it very much. Like I've only used it on my body. So this video, we're testing it out to see if it could pass as a face foundation because this foundation is expensive I'm doing the test to see if I could use this as a face foundation because that would be nice because it's about $45 and I don't usually use this all the time I just don't want to have it like laying around and not being able to use it so one thing I will say is with this foundation a little seriously goes a long way and I'm seeing that it is full coverage as well make sure you apply this foundation with a beauty blender because I think that that gives it the most seamless coverage this reminds me of my nars weightless foundation in the color macau are you guys like me and you don't like to put too much makeup on your forehead comment down below if you guys get scared of putting makeup on your forehead so this is how it's looking right now i'm actually really liking the coverage i don't know how it's showing up on camera because sometimes this camera be like making my foundation look a little bit light the next step i'm gonna use my la girl pro concealer in the color fawn i've used this concealer for the longest time and I have literally nothing bad to say about it. It's never disappointed. So I'm going to use that for my under eye. And because I've already color corrected, um, everything should be nice. It shouldn't crease too much on me. And that's what I'm telling you guys, the importance of color correcting, especially if you have like, you know, dark under eye circles or like discoloration under your eye, I think that you need to be color correcting. Even if you don't, I just think everyone needs to color correct. It just makes everything look a whole lot better. I'm just doing like a slight beat. I don't even think I'm gonna wear lashes. So this is how the foundation looks and I am honestly impressed. I haven't put any powder or anything like that. I'm taking my Maybelline Fit Me foundation and I'm gonna use that to clean my brows. So it's not foundation actually, it's my concealer, sorry. This is like some rushed makeup that I'm doing. Take my beauty blender and blend once again. Just make sure everything is nice and neat because we really don't want any harsh lines. Let me see what time is it? I have to be out of this house by 11.30. Okay, and it's 11.13. So I'm cutting it closer. I'm going to just take my Maybelline 
fit me concealer and apply that under the eyes as well I love this concealer guys this is very close to my skin color this is my color pop no filter concealer this is a little light for me and every time I just use this alone I just end up looking casket ready so I'm gonna take a little bit of that mixed in with the Maybelline concealer and gently just put that to brighten my under eye a little bit guys sorry about my phone just going off i don't know who the hell is texting me like that when i'm recording the video <laughs> right now i really don't have the time to just sit and think of everything that i've used today for the tutorial but i will make sure to link them all in the description box okay who is texting me like this lord people stop texting me when i'm recording Oh my gosh, okay, let me turn my phone off. Okay, no. Okay, better. Black opal setting powder as well. So I'm using that to set all the parts, like my crease area. I crease a lot around this area, so I just put extra setting powder in those areas to make sure that throughout the day, I'm not um, creasing, you know? I'm gonna leave the setting powder in for a bit, and then I'm gonna take my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder and I'm using that around the areas that I didn't set with the setting powder just to set the whole face okay I don't want to put it too much because I don't want to look like really cakey you know what I mean put that all over top of my forehead and remember guys I didn't put too much makeup at the top okay Actually, let me just brush out the setting powder. Guys, I don't know if you're seeing this, but this coverage is amazing, okay? So the last thing I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna take my MAC blush in the color called Film Noir, and this is what I use for contouring most times, just to help bring back the dimensions to my face. So I'm gonna use that all over. You don't want it to be too much all over. Oh my gosh, I definitely OD. I'm gonna have to look like this because, listen, I don't have time to correct this. One thing I don't like about this blush is like you can easily just like go ham on it without even knowing. So I'm just using my Beauty Blender to make it a little bit better. My eyeshadow, I'm just gonna take that same blush and I'm just gonna put that just on my lids. Just This is a very quick an easy tutorial honestly I'm not doing the most I'm gonna take some eyeliner and just do like I always do wing liner I'm going to do my mascara so I'm gonna take my max lip liner result of the KKW body foundation on my face as you guys can see the coverage is just phenomenal okay phenomenal sis like I don't know how this is applied on camera and I'm gonna be so mad if you guys can't really see like how amazing this foundation is this is supposed to be a body foundation and I applied this on my face and so far so good I'm going to go around and like do my daily activities and report to you guys maybe every two hours to see how this foundation is holding up it feels very smooth and very weightless on my face i don't feel like i'm wearing anything the coverage is phenomenal like this is giving me full coverage vibes this is giving me like nars weightless foundation vibes this is giving me like um mac mineralized skin finish vibes like this is this is actually pretty good so right now it's about six o'clock and I applied this foundation around 11. I applied this foundation around 11 o'clock. So as you guys can see, still looks really good. I'm a little bit shiny like over here, but overall. I use the color tan for this 
um, tutorial you guys can use whatever color matches your skin color and I'm really lucky that it actually matched me perfectly um, so I will say that I'm giving this a 10 out of 10 if you guys want to check out this foundation or if you want to check out my other reviews of this foundation on my body I actually use the foundation to cover my stretch marks and you guys need to check out that video and see how this foundation covered listen I got some really bad stretch marks on my arms this foundation covered that thing up. You guys need to definitely check out that video over here. As you guys can see, this foundation looks amazing as a face foundation as well. And I'm shook it, okay? KKW Beauty, you guys are doing the damn thing, okay? This isn't the color tan. If you are my skin color, this is a really good match. It's not a perfect match, but you can always make it work. That is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for your love, comment, support, and feedback on my channel. As always, if you have not subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe for more fashion videos, makeup videos, and hair tutorials. Thank you guys so much for your love, comment, support, and feedback on my channel. I want to wish you guys every ounce of love, joy, happiness, and success, and I'll see you in my next video.